Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Weir, and I gotta tell you, I love life. But when I'm not being a husband, a father, a grandfather, an author, or a practicing chiropractor, I'm the host of the television show, Loving Life with Dr. Tim Weir. I love to cook. I love to travel. I like to spend time with people who do what they love and love what they do. Join me and Elvis for the next 30 minutes as we help you discover how to love life. Well, you know me, I love local businesses. I love people who do what they love and love what they do. And you know, sometimes people say, I'd really like to be in business, but I don't know what to do, how to do it. My next guest is Neil Isaacs. He's from VR Business Brokers. Thanks for having me, Doc. You're awesome, man. You're awesome. So let's talk about this because yeah. this is, there are a lot of people mm -hmm. who would like to be in business, but sure. maybe don't want to start from ground one. Absolutely, yeah. And there are a lot of businesses out there that are up and running, and those business owners have taken the risk and proven the business, and they're ready to get out. So they're great opportunities for business So it's owners. a great handoff there. Correct, and I'm, a, I'm like a matchmaker. Matchmaker. <laughs> So how does a person get involved with this? How, here I am, I want to get in business. Yeah. So let me, I got so many questions that are bombarding in my mind right yeah. now. Because how do I know what I, I want to do? Is that something that you can help somebody absolutely, with? Absolutely, absolutely. That's, that's what I can help someone with, find out what they're good at, what they want to do. You know, my story is I was running a business and I was ready to, to do something else. And I didn't know how to, to make that position. I didn't want my customers to know. I didn't mm -hmm. want my vendors to know. I didn't want my landlord to mm -hmm. know. I didn't know where to get started. And uh, when I met a business broker, that's when a lot of those answers started to fall into place, how to price it and do it confidentially. So that's, that's how you get the business sold. And then finding the business opportunities, business brokers help with that as well. So a person can just call you up. Mm -hmm. Or a business can just call you up. Correct, correct. And, and you just sit down with them and put together a plan on how to do it. Yeah. So let's say I've got, so here's another question. I've got a business I want to get rid of. Right. How do you do that confidentiality? Business brokerage is just like real estate. Except imagine trying to sell a house and you can't give the address. Mm. That's where the confidentiality comes in. So I meet clients after hours. They don't want their employees to know. Sure. And we have a frank conversation about what they want their outcome to be. And then we look at their financials and we try and figure out, much like real estate, what's the most probable sales price for this business. Hmm. From there, we have a, a go-to-market plan without sharing the name of the business. That's how we keep it confidential. At a certain point, if, if it's somebody who needs to know and they're serious, that's when we get to what the business is. And they probably sign some type of an agreement. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. But the business owner can go back to running their business instead of focusing on worrying about finding buyers and if they're legitimate and all that mess. Exactly. So, what's for sale right now in, in Rome? There's a lot of restaurants for sale. There's some salons for sale. There's some great home-based businesses for sale. Really? Absolutely. Absolutely. So then a person just takes that over into their home? Correct. So they don't have to worry about rent and... Absolutely. That's why a lot of home businesses work, because you have low overhead. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're talking everything from restaurants, salons... Yep. Could be a car wash, could be a pet sitting business. You wouldn't believe the opportunities that are out there right now. And they're, they're for the taking, whoever wants them. For the, for the right fit. Yeah. And then, of course, money is always a factor, but another thing a business broker can help somebody who wants to buy a business or sell a business with is financing. Finding so the money. finding a bank or Correct. a third party that can do that. Correct. Or working with the buyer and seller to come up with some type of arrangement to buy the business. This is so huge because it, it all, there's a lot in startup. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, to, to get in and start up a business. Yeah. And those are, they can be some lean times at the beginning. You know, the dream of, of walking away from the 401k, it sounds glorious, but it's very, very scary. So the idea that you could jump in at the three, the five, the seven year mark mm -hmm. and know what the cash flow is that you can expect, it really takes a lot of the risk out of that. Wow. 
We live in a very entrepreneurial market. It's a great market. It's a wonderful market. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. So, we're going to put your website up. Okay. Your That's contact right. yeah. information. Yeah. Let's get people coming to you and to talk to them about how to be an entrepreneur, how to, how to just step out of the boat and do their own thing. I love talking to business owners. Okay. I love talking to business owners. So my website is VR, as in Victor Romeo, biztriangle.com. That's VR, biz, triangle, B -I -Z. Com. B -I -Z, like business, but biz. Yeah, biz. Yeah. All right, you heard it here. I'm telling you. If you have an idea in your mind of something that you'd like to do, and I've known Neil for a little bit, so he's, a, he's the guy to talk to, you can trust him, because there's a lot of people that you can. <laughs> All right, do it right now. Look him up, go talk to him, but don't change the channel because we got some more coming up for you. Neil, thanks, man. Thanks, Doc. You're awesome. Uptown Pictures is a full-service script-to-screen production company which can help you create the proper messaging for any number of applications with spacious state-of-the-art studio offering green screen, mocap and practical stages along with a team of professionals who will make you and your business shine. So what are you waiting for? Call us at 919-649-3587 and schedule your appointment today. It's time we put your imagination into motion. Okay, I got a cool guest here, Al Marcilia from Infinity Hypnotherapy. Correct. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so talk to me a little bit about this. I'm telling you, man, I'm excited about this. All right. Let me, let, can I start with personal stuff? Okay. You uh, want a couch or something to lay down on? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, I don't use a couch. I use a reclining chair, though. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I've been doing uh, hypnotherapy uh, since 2006 in Raleigh, and uh, uh, currently I work out of my home. Uh, I'm kind of semi-retired, and I take uh, sporadic appointments now. Uh, I spend uh, my other time uh, writing. Uh, I've spent time acting. If I can go into a little bit about my family, uh, I'm 85 years old. Uh, I've been married 60 years to my lovely wife, Rosemary, who I call Rosie. I'm the only one that could call her Rosie. That's my wife's name, Rosemary. Is it? Yeah. Really? Oh. See, we have something in common. 42 time. years. 60 years. You beat, okay. <laughs> and um, so uh, I guess my bucket list is writing now. And I. Um, I, you know, I write, uh, and I, I actually I've written a couple of novels and some children's books, uh, which are on, of course, Amazon. 
Uh, isn't the world on Amazon? Everything is. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. So where does this come from, this writing? How, how long have you been doing that? Well, I, actually I started writing, I, I had read a book, um, um, what the heck is the name of it? Um, uh, uh, writing uh, scripts for dummies. Okay, so, really? so I read the, the book. It was about two girls that got together and never wrote a script in their lives. And they wrote a script, brought it to Hollywood, got someone to read it, and had a picture made from it. So I said, hey, if they can do that, why can't I do How that? How awesome is that? Yeah. And uh, so I wrote a couple of scripts and I sent them out all over the place to everyone that uh, I could think of or was uh, um, uh, suggested to me. And you know what? Nothing happened. Yeah. So I took those scripts and I turned them into novels. Wow. And uh, that's uh, two, two of my no novels are crime novels. Um, and um, as I say, they're on Amazon and they've gotten very good reviews four and a half stars out of five. So when did you do that? Like how many years ago did you start that? Oh, the scripts probably 10 to 12 years ago. Okay, so yeah. when you were 75. Right. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, and then I turned them into scripts about, I started writing the, uh, the uh, novels oh. about um, four years ago. Okay. And, uh, and as I say, they've gotten good reviews. And uh, it's one of the many careers I've had in my life. And at one time I added them up and, it, and there were about 40 of them. And starting from, uh, I was a, an actor in New York and I was on a daytime show that lasted two years on TV, a local show. Uh, I've been a real estate broker. I've been uh, an usher at the Capitol Theater in New York. Uh, I could go on and on. I, as I say, I got up to 40 when I quit. So this is for all the people who watch this and say, so many people have so many excuses yeah. of why I can't do this or why I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm too young or right. I'm too old. Right. Too fat or I'm too skinny. Right. And you don't care. No, I don't. You just, you just, no. what, right. whatever the vision is, you're going to go for it. Exactly. The dream. As I said, I'm 85 going on 46. Yeah. And that's the way you got to live life. Yeah. And that's the way I live life. So, because we mentioned the hypnotherapy, can people get a hold of you to do that? Yeah. Actually, um, I had started doing hypnotherapy in many therapies. Um, weight loss, uh, depression, all those, uh, PTSD, all those things. But now I, I only concentrate on helping people to stop smoking. Wow. Okay, and uh, what I have, my, my, if someone asks what I do, I, say I help people to stop smoking and I give them a lifetime guarantee, okay? So uh, if they need me tomorrow or two years from now, if I'm around, uh, I'll, take them in at no extra charge. Because you might not be around. You might be in New York with your script and, and there's a play going on. Right. And if they say, you know, lifetime guarantee, what does it mean? I, says, I say, it's either my life or yours. Yeah. yeah, whichever one you... <laughs> whichever one that's it's first. theirs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's right. So a lot of stuff, a lot of things going on. Yes. Is there some place that people can get a hold of you? Um, yeah, I have a website and it's... Uh, uh, www.hypnosisguy.com I love that. <laughs> so listen, you might be even thinking yourself, there's some things I'd like to do with my life. I think you'd probably sit down and talk to somebody about that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Go to his website right now, check it out. Al, thank you. You're the best, man. My pleasure. Don't change the channel, we got a whole lot more coming up. Uptown Pictures is a full-service script-to-screen production company 
which can help you create the proper messaging for any number of applications. With spacious state-of-the-art studio offering green screen, mocap, and practical stages, along with a team of professionals who will make you and your business shine. So what are you waiting for? Call us at 919-649-3587 and schedule your appointment today. It's time we put your imagination into motion. So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Hey, you know, I love people who discover what they were intended to be and what they were intended to do and then pull out all the stops and go for it. I'm with Lex Jordan. Lex, thank you for being with me today. Thank you for seeing me, Dr. Wood. I, I'm telling you, man, you are just, you do it all. I try to. I try to stay balanced out here. So here you are, an incredible musician. Most definitely. Let's talk about that a little bit. When did that start? Well, uh, it started in various ways. Because uh, I know your mama now. I, I don't want no lying or anything. I'm going to keep it all the way 100 okay. as we see on the street. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I, my, I wanted to play the drums in the band, and the band was all full at Fuller Elementary in Raleigh, North Carolina. And my mother was like, why don't you play the viola? I used to play the viola, and I played it, and I loved it. I couldn't read the music that well. I played it for like 10 years in the Honors Orchestra. We played at Carnegie Hall. And I was just being an orchestra, just moving, trying to listen to the music so I could take apart the sounds and play. And then I started failing playing tests, and my teacher, Mr. Child, Care Academy, taught me how to read the music, the flats, and the treble cuffs, and all that. And uh, my brother was a big influence. He, I used to like rock and roll and, and uh, West African music a lot, but I didn't really care for hip hop. And he was just like, you need to listen to this uh, Ghostface Killer, this Raekwon, this Wu-Tang Clan, and Nas. He made me force me to listen to it. And then eventually, I took a liking to it and picked up the guitar. And I uh, just played a whole bunch of instruments and always wrote and produced music, I've always been a writer. So. so then from then all the way to now? All the way to now, and I'm just, it just evolved into producing and songwriting and production and rapping and you know, doing whatever I can to stay at peace. I have a hard enough time just speaking normal. <laughs> I don't know how you do that. Oh yeah, I don't know either, you know. It if, just comes out of you. If God gives you a gift, uh, you know, you're not you're not doing your due diligence and not using it to yeah. bless somebody. I don't have that gift, so. <laughs> we all have gifts. So let's talk about this now, because the music is huge. Of course. And you've done amazing things with it. Of course. And then you went to law school. Of course, it was a monster. I went down to University of Miami, Country Bowl, went all the way down to Miami, big wow. city. Wow. Yeah. So here you are, you're down in Miami studying. Like crazy. And, and you're, at the same time you're studying, you're, you're still doing your music. Yeah, I released the album down there, shot a lot of music videos, did a lot of shows. It was, it was a great time. I mean, law school is hard, but I, I had a lot of fun. I had more fun in law school than undergrad at Carolina. Wow. Yeah. So let's talk about this just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, the theme of the show is this, life is all about choices. Most definitely. Because the choices I make, if, if I'm in a situation right now I don't like, it's because I made some choices back here. Mm -hmm. So if I see where I want to be in the future, i got to make some choices. So you mm -hmm. made some choices. Most definitely. Um, let's talk about that. 
of course. I mean, the choice for law school, um, I love to rap, I love to make music, but I, to be honest, I didn't foresee myself being a rapper in, in clubs at 40 years old, and I do in the blink of an eye. And I went from 17 to 27 in the blink, so I know I can be, I'm gonna go to from 27 to 40 in a half a second. So I didn't foresee that happening, and I wanted to do something that I could use my gift and use my way of seeing the world to affect people in my community, and I always listen to a lot of salsa music. It's kind of Ruben Blades. Mm. He went to a law school, became a lawyer, and he's like in the parliament. He made a lot of hit records for Fania and like Heck De Lavo and Willie Colon and all those guys. So I was like, maybe I should go to law school and you know, give it a shot and then try to merge the two worlds. So next week, you get sworn in as a North Carolina attorney. Yeah. Wow. So it's the, it's, that's the second bar. It was the North Carolina bar was a monster. Yeah. 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 Well, and you did it. Oh yeah. It took hard work and prayer. So. But for those who, who are maybe in situation, they say, there's nothing I can do. Life is hopeless, blah, 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 blah. Never that. You know, I, I just look at it like my, my grandmother, she was blind. She was from down in uh, Robinson County, North Carolina. Blind all of her adult life, raised three kids. She used to work all her life. She started off sharecropping. And my father came all the way across the water from Nigeria. You know, what we talked about earlier was a child during the Civil War when they could have committed a genocide against yes. the Ebos. So I said, if they can come from that, then, you know, I can I can find a way. So and, I, I find in a way. Yeah, and, and sometimes people say, uh, and, I, and I don't want to downplay this so much, but they, what is God going to do for my, for, on my behalf? Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes God's just waiting for you to do your behalf. Well, I, I tell my niece and uh, I tell uh, the people that are close to me, I say, you know, you got to pray to God. I pray every day. That's what brought me through the bar. But at the same time, you got to know God is in you. So you have faith in yourself. You do it. Yeah, um, man. So we're about to hear some of your music. Oh, yeah. It's Talk to me about too. that. Who's who's with you on the? So um, this guy named David Shavis, he's a great guy. He's I'm the baby of the group. I want to highlight that. I'm the youngest. Don't put that age on me. <laughs> um, you know, I went to school with his younger brother for like seven years. We went to UNC together. And he was, he was good friends with my best friend that's also an attorney in Raleigh. Shouts out to Hunter Bryson. and. Um, then me and Mark, we went to, I went to law school and he went to get his MBA down at University of Miami. So he was always like, my brother does music and his brother would text me like, hey man, I want you to come, you know, perform, work with my band. And I'm like, I'm studying for these bars. I got, I got, I have to grind right now. I can't, I can't see you right now, but he was so patient with me. Finally, I passed the bars and knocked them out. I just went over and worked with him and it was just, it was amazing. Like I never felt that feeling like producing my music because it's coming out of my own head. It's a different yeah. feeling, but when it's live and it's other people playing it, and I just feel the music. They have theory. They have an understanding of music. But right. Their understanding is much different than mine. So it's a, it's a beautiful thing. So we, you know, we're just working and stay in balance and let that keep growing and blossoming. That's so awesome. Yeah. And by the way, his wife is running for uh, Chapel Hill Council. So, you know, make sure you vote if you're in Chapel Hill. Um, you know, I try to stay active in politics. I got some guys, uh, my old professor from the UNC is running for mayor of Durham, Chris Freeline. He taught me how to make beats, actually. Uh, the mayor of Raleigh is running, Francis. So. You know, make sure you go out there and be active. Don't change the channel because we got some music coming up. Most definitely. Lexicon Baby. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, this is Dr. Tim Weir. I treat hundreds of patients every year who've been injured in car accidents, and a lot of those could be avoided. The National Safety Council reports that cell phone use while driving leads to 1.6 million crashes each year. That's one out of four accidents. Do yourself a favor, and if you get a text while you're driving, ignore it. Then getting a carton of milk isn't gonna do any good if you're dead. Drive safe, keep loving life. One, two, three. Used to eat peanut butter for dinner. No one thought I could utter this vision. Got touched when I was young. No grudges forgiven. Leave it to calm. A too much drama to work by intermissions. The lower the eye and door leave you shaking like talking sense. I don't whine all my breezy sipping. Moscato dipping for Papa. Wonder if it be a blunder to find though. I don't take credit cause I'd rather get cash. Where I'm headed got indebted. To this life fast. Thought about suicide but losing life is selfish. So I try to be moving right up in the hellish. 
environment I relish conspiring on consignments I'm talk so loud but they actions is quiet I don't like fiction but she got a tall tail can I enjoy flesh vision living in lowest wealth fantasize better days forever laying success to damn blessed just then glamorize where I rest I've been blessed to breathe uh, and life priceless so today gets the best of me I've been blessed to breathe uh, in a crisis the breath of God gon' set me free I've been blessed to breathe uh, and life priceless so today gets the best of me I've been blessed to breathe uh, in a crisis the breath of God gon' set me free I favor the accomplished like I did something for you perception is a problem when so many adore you step forward headed toward green like a stoplight just to bless another brother vexed and block life Cold outside, trends of men make you cop ice through below, give you fever though when that he cop right. Here's a picture of my life, but that get taken, so I'm giving you a portrait. I'm the artist that made it, savoring my savings for a taste of wealth. This your outlook if you face my death. Black bass, the basking in the fires of the father. Black dog telling me I can't go farther, but I persevere through burning tears. Daddy drink too much fire water, approaching light ain't no curtains here. So tell your vision boy, in time of war, you're trying to get a meal. Let me make my heart. I've been blessed to breathe, uh, and life priceless. So today gets the best of me. I've been blessed to breathe, uh, in the crisis. The breath of God gon' set me free. I've been blessed to breathe, woo, life priceless. So today gets the best of me. I've been blessed to breathe, uh, in the crisis. The breath of God gon' set me free. Might burn the clutch if you the first in gear. The metals gon' rust being round the piers. I'm moving at an optimal pace. Call my stride, so I guess I'm in an optical race. Caught in the trace, they fast out here, cause they ain't eating. Tainted demons trying to pull you from your blessings teaching. I'm just trying to have a pleasant time. Elevate the peasant mind by line set and rhyme. My present finds life ain't fair. So I'm on a roller coaster trying to get there. So I maintain focus. Actions be bad, like them red tops of villager villains. The block of skillet, watch lead pop. I eat with hubba for a ton of war for the green trees. Lawyers absorb with cutting corners, so they fiend feast. Used to pray for wisdom, but I couldn't hunt it down. The feet side chief, no, I done my mama proud. I've been blessed to breathe, uh, and life priceless. So today gets the best of me. I've been blessed to breathe, uh, in a crisis. The breath of God gon' set me free. I've been blessed to breathe, uh, and life priceless. So today gets the best of me, I've been blessed to breathe, uh, in a crisis. The breath of God gon' set me free, I've been blessed to breathe, come on now. I've been blessed to breathe, what you know about that? I've been blessed to breathe, yes lord, uh, I've been blessed to breathe, talk to me now. I've been blessed to breathe, what you, uh, I've been blessed to breathe, come on, yeah. I've been blessed to breathe, oh yeah, uh, I've been blessed to breathe, yeah. Uh, South Raleigh boys, being blessed to breathe. Carolina boys, being blessed to breathe. Country African boys, we being blessed to breathe. I come a long way, I come a long way. When they call my number, and, and when they call my name, uh, won't you know I've been blessed to breathe? I got a lot to say, yeah. I've been blessed to breathe. Whoa! Thank you.